Hey legends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to layer in drum samples into a live drum performance using only Logic's software. You don't need any third party software. You don't need Trigger 2. You can do this in Logic without buying anything else. So for the example we're working on today, it's a bit of a pop punk song, it's a work in progress, but let's say we wanna add a sample to our snare drum. All we have to do is click on our snare file and press Control D. Now this is gonna open up Logic's drum replacement doubling feature, which is basically just audio to MIDI. Now, before we go any further, just click on anywhere in the global window and then press Command F. That's gonna open up flex time. This makes it really easy for us to see all the transients that's gonna determine which snare hits get turned into MIDI notes. So by playing with this relative threshold slider here, we can tell it which notes we wanna be turned into MIDI notes. So we drag it all the way over this way, you see we lose information, and when we drag it over this way, we get lots of information. So what we're trying to do is fine tune this to only the hits that we want. This can be a little tricky if there's ghost notes involved, which there are in this track. So let's find a spot like here, there's some ghost notes. Now we can try and slide this over to pick these up, but you can see we are picking up a transient here where the kick's hitting. So it's getting picked up in the bleed of the snare drum. And that's a problem that you're gonna face with this is sometimes you're gonna have to give it a little bit extra information and then you're gonna have to listen through and delete out these MIDI notes. So let's kind of leave it like that and then we'll clean it up in a second. So you're better off picking up a couple of extra transients that you can delete and clean up later and have all those ghost notes there rather than trying to write these in afterwards. So before we lock this in, we can click on our software instrument here. We can see it's creating all these MIDI notes and over here it's opened up a bunch of options. Now these are just samples in Logic and they're not really worth listening to, but I'll show you anyway. If we press preview, and we turn soul off on the snare. We can hear the snare sample. Yeah, these don't sound very good, but let's just go with that one anyway. We're not gonna use this. So we hit okay, and now it's locked in our track of all the MIDI notes here. So let's double click on this or press P and open up the piano roll. And let's boost up our velocities because these are kind of a bit soft. So press Command A and get our velocity tool and just drag these all up. Now anything that's really loud, let's just bring these down. Bring these down. Okay, and then we can press Command A, drag it up a little bit further. Want these snares hitting hard. Okay, so looking pretty good. All our ghost notes are looking nice and soft down the bottom here and we can play around and tweak this a little bit as we go. So then what you can do is listen through the track and just get rid of any problem MIDI notes. So it's good to zoom in so you can see what you're looking at. Have the piano roll open and then just play it through and then just look for any problem MIDI hits and then delete them. So this one here, that's actually a tom hit. You can see the tom here, the MIDI note here. It's just picked it up in the bleed. So get rid of that. That's not meant to be there. That's just tom hits, that's bleed. So there shouldn't be anything besides the backbeat on the snare through this section. So we can just go ahead and delete all those. Should not be a snare on the first beat, that's a kick. And so on and so forth. You just work your way through, clean up the track, get rid of all the junk that has snuck in. So you can hear it's done a pretty good job of getting those velocities right between our loud hits and our soft hits. Now, if you're gonna clean this up a little bit more, generally if you're working with MIDI and say like a pop punk song like this, we want like the hits loud, we want them consistent. We don't really want too much dynamic. Like this is probably a little too much dynamics going on. What we can do is open up functions, MIDI transform, fix velocity, and then we can just go like, 120, let's do that for our hard hits. Now all we're gonna do is highlight our snares, maybe leave the fill, that's where we want a bit of variation in the, um, the velocity there. And then we're just gonna hit operate only. And we can see that flattens these out. And do that for that, and that looks pretty good. This snare sample absolutely sucks. <laughs> so we're gonna change that next. So then you could work your way through the track and you could find all your hard hits and you could just change these, highlight them all, operate only, 
and so on and so forth. It's a bit tedious, especially if there's ghost notes involved because they're all on the same track. So you can't just highlight it all and then just hit operate. You have to work around them and operate them because you want to leave those ghost notes as is because they sound much better when they're soft. So once you've gone through and you've tidied this up and you've got your velocities where you want them, then we can move on to this next step. So now for the good part, we can get rid of this crappy Logic drum sample and we can just load anything in that we want. So we open up the mixer, come up to the software instrument up here and you can change it to anything. So if you own SSD5, for example, you could load this up and you could grab a snare and chuck it in here and use an SSD5 snare. Same for like Superior Drummer, any MIDI software, you could just load it up, use a sound from that. Say you own a bunch of sample packs that are just like WAV files, you could just load up Logic's Quick Sampler and you can just click on this empty space here and then we can find a folder. So we're gonna go into Spinlight Studio, One Shots Volume 1 and go into our snares and let's grab our Joyful Noise Dry. You can press spacebar in here too to addition it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab two samples. We're gonna grab the dry. Now have a listen to this. That's not right. So we need to turn off pitch and we need to turn on one shot. And let's have a listen to that. Sweet, sounds right now. So let's Command D, duplicate this. Option, click and drag down. So we'll just click on this up here, load audio file and we're gonna load in the Joyful Snare Room. So that sounds like this. And then you can blend these together. So like you would in Trigger, you could load these two samples in, have them in the same thing and blend them. You can just do it here with the MIDI, and you can have the room sound, blend that in with the dry sound and get yourself a nice fat snare sound. Cool. So I definitely don't recommend um, using your one shot samples with your ghost notes. So we'd either just mute those, transfer them to a new track and use a softer sample. Or if you're using MIDI that has a multi velocity sound, then you should be okay. So how good is that? You don't need any extra software to layer in drum samples with your live drum recordings. You can just use Logic's doubling replacement feature, which just creates audio to MIDI, which then you can load any sound you want, use any sample packs, use anything you want to get your drum sounding sick. And if you want your drums to sound as good as that, make sure you check out the Spinlight Studio One Shots Volume 1 pack, which is available in the description link below. You can go to my website and grab a copy of that and load up some sick drum samples into your mixes. One thing that's worth mentioning when you are doing this is to solo your close mic and your samples and listen through the track. If you find any snares that are out of phase, so the MIDI hasn't come through properly, like the transient was a little bit off, then you're gonna have to fix that up, otherwise you're gonna get weird phasey snares that get canceled out. For example, let's say this, this is a little bit off. You're listening through. Oh, what's that? That sounds bad. So you stop, zoom in, and drag your playhead to the front of the transient on this snare, and then open up the piano roll, and then we're gonna drag this note back. If you drag it past it, and then what we wanna do is split the note at the playhead. Now I have this set up as a shortcut as Shift S, which isn't actually a shortcut in Logic. I'm pretty sure it's Command T, but years and years and years ago, I like played around with my key commands and changed a bunch of stuff and it's just stuck with me. From a quick Google, I think it's Command T. If I'm wrong, then you just come up to edit and you go to split and notes at playhead and it should split it. And then you can just delete the front of that and now you've got a nice clean MIDI note at the front of your snare transient again. So it's definitely worth listening through the whole track, making sure that your snares are in phase and the MIDI is lined up properly, and then you don't have to do it again. You just check it once, make sure it's good, move on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button, drop a comment below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new stuff all the time. So turn on the notification bell so you can keep up to date with when these videos get posted. If you're keen to watch a full drum mix breakdown, check out this next video where I show you how I mix this massive metal drum sound.